Demonstrators showed up at the Supreme Court tonight. Civil rights, human rights, and gun violence groups questioned his record on gun rights, religious freedom, and police brutality. The Alliance for Justice calls Gorsuch a disastrous a choice. The Senate's top Democrat said tonight the line has been drawn. Approving Gorsuch will require 60 votes. I only hope that both Democrats and Republicans can come together for once for the good of the country. A traditional choice by a non-traditional president headed to a divided Congress. Tracy Potts, NBC News at the White House. Congresswoman Louise Slaughter reacting to the president's pick tonight stated in part, quote, I'm deeply concerned about Judge Gorsuch's troubling record of condemning those who have often turned to the courts to live up to our nation's ideals of equality, women's rights, and civil rights. And Congressman Chris Collins, on the other hand, applauds the nomination. In a statement, he says, I fully anticipate that he will continue interpreting laws as they are written and defend the constitutionally protected rights all Americans hold dear. New York is joining an effort to sue the Trump administration over the executive order on immigration and refugees. Attorney General Eric Schneiderman announced today his office was joining a legal challenge already filed by the American Civil Liberties Union and other groups. Other states, Washington and Massachusetts, are also suing.